Today we have a brand new beer from Height Jinro, and that's super exciting because they don't do these product launches very often. I think the last beer launch that Height Jinro did was Terra, and that was a million years ago. I'm curious to see how they did with this new beer. Um, without further ado, let's take a look at the can. Uh, it's got this pale coppery color, which I like. Uh, it doesn't really pop, but it's very subtle and understated. Nothing crazy going on. We've got Kelly in big font, and it's this fairly curly, cute font. I like it. Moving on, just quick specs, 4.5% ABV, I believe, which puts this comfortably in the realm between a standard beer and a light beer. Not quite a light beer, but not quite like the full 5%, but enough of that. Let's see. Denmark premium all malt beer. Uh, grown in Jutland by Seabreeze, premium malt from Denmark. So I think Terra was, the big sell was it was Australian malt or whatever. This one's Denmark malt. Uh, I don't know what it is about uh, these Korean beers having malts from all these random different countries, but I guess it's a marketing thing. And I don't know if it works, but let's crack it open. Nice. Not sure what else I was expecting, but let me just quickly give it a pour into this cup. Only like half of it, because I'm gonna have a sip from the cup and a sip from the can. Um, wow, really nice head. Small bubbles and they're fairly consistent and it looks really fluffy. A couple big ones on the top, but overall, this looks really, really appetizing. And the color too. It's like a little darker than some of the other Korean macros, so it's giving me a good first impression, at least on the visual front. So I'll give it a sniff. Yeah, it smells like beer. <laughs> Nothing really standing out about it. it. Doesn't smell that strongly, but I guess that makes sense. It is a mass market Korean beer. But wow, I, it's just the color is a little different. I, I really like it. Glass is frosting up. That might be affecting it too. Cheers! Tastes pretty good, <laughs> I must say. It's got a subtle weedy characteristic, which is very common in beers like this, but it's very subtle, very well-rounded and refreshing. It's, it's like a very inoffensive beer, like, they clearly wanted to please the crowd with this one. By the way, I think Kelly, the meaning of this is it stands for keep it naturally or something. Keep it natural. I don't know. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. But it makes me wonder, what about their other products? Is it not as natural or whatever? Um, I don't know. I think Cloud's marketing was like, oh, our beer does not add additional water before we can it. Which makes you wonder, do other beers add additional water before they can it? Yes, they do. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm gonna try from the can. Can't smell a thing, because it's from the can. Goes down like water. I'm really curious how this will pair with soju. Uh, I don't have any on hand which is quite the shame, but that's something I'll be trying out sometime in the future, especially if I can find these at restaurants. Right now, I haven't seen them in restaurants. Uh, just picked it up at GS25 and took it home on a cab. That is all. Okay, I think there isn't too much more to say about this beer. I give it my thumbs up. I recommend you try it if you get the chance. I think you'll like it. Just want to try it with soju. Um, that'll be kind of the real test. Uh, that the rival product from OB, Cass, is really, really, really excellent at. And will this one live up? We'll see. One day, not today though. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and cheers, or kombe, rather. <laughs>